do is we heat it. We heat this thing up. It's got a water bath that will just rise the temperature up a little bit. And then we record the flash point on it. And I didn't get to that point. What I did is I got this thing. reading what 74 turn the gas on give me a flame going here okay you see the flame this flame has got to be small enough flame where it can fit inside the thing what happens was when I when I flip this thing down being trapped inside this thing and it's got a little trap door here when I turn that knob that flame will take it dip down into the into the vapor and there's any kind of vapor floating around that head space it causes that all right so there's no heat on this whatsoever the temperature is right at about 74 degrees Fahrenheit only thing we've done is put the product in there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and turn the flame down into a closed space what happens is the vapor is building up in there and when that flame, that trap door opens up, the flame will jump down in there. And if there's any kind of vapor, it'll ignite the vapor and cause what they call uh, a flash. So, the, like I said, it's room temperature. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light out. Got it recorded? Mm -hmm. So, that's, that's, the, that's the flash. Right there. It's, it's well below that. I mean, it's below that temperature. It, you know, you had to, what I had to do would be to chill it down and then bring it back up. So chill it down to like near freezing and bring it back up. But there's probably no point in doing that because that thing flashed below 74. So we know it's, the flash point is, it was way below 74. It builds up a vapor. So in other words, if you had a drum open up over there and somebody opened the drum up, caused a spark or whatever, and you had enough in a room. Mm -hmm. Now you do have an atmosphere where you pull the vapor away from it. But if you get enough vapor build up, boom, you know.